This is the example video for linear systems with constant coefficients. For our first example, we want to solve the equation y prime equals ay for the matrix a equals negative 3, negative 4, 2, 3. So the way we do this is we start by finding the eigenvalues, lambda. Um, the way we do that is we solve the equation, um, the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. Well, a minus lambda i is equal to negative three minus lambda two, negative four and three minus lambda. So we want to find the determinant of that. And this is simple for two by two matrix. We just multiply these two entries. And we subtract it by the product of these two entries. So that's going to be um, multiplying all that out. We should get lambda squared minus 1. I'll leave that simplification to you. Um, so the solution to this is lambda equals plus or minus 1. So that gives us a lambda 1 of 1 and lambda 2 of negative 1. So now we want to find the eigenvectors associated with each of these. So to find, let's find v1. Um, to do that, we look at a minus lambda 1i equals 0, or times v1. So this times v1 has to equal 0. Um, plugging that in for a, or plugging in lambda 1, we get a minus i times v1 equals 0. Um, that's negative 3 minus 1, 2, negative 4, and 3 minus 1 times v1 equals 0. Um, that's negative 4, 2, negative 4, 2 times v1 equaling 0. We can convert this um, into an augmented matrix if we first um, define v1 to have components a and b. So that turns our equation into this. And this is a 0 vector, so we want both columns to be 0. We can turn this into 4, 2, or negative 4, 2, negative 4, 2 and 0, 0. Um, we can simplify this by row reduction um, into, um, if we divide the top column by negative 4, we get 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0. So that's R1 divided by negative 4. And if we subtract R2 by 2 of R1, we should get 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that gives us that gives us this, and multiplying that out, we get a plus b equals zero, which gives us a equals negative b, and we'll set b equal to b. So since v one equals a b, um, which is negative b b. Factoring out b, we get b times negative 1, 1. And since we, um, there's always going to be an infinite number of eigenvectors that are just scalar multiples of each other. So we just need to choose one of them. The simplest is clearly when b equals 1. So we'll set v1 to be negative 1, 1. So we found v1, and this is associated with lambda 1 equals 1. Now we can go back and find our second eigenvector. And we know there's going to be two because we have a 2 by 2 matrix A. So to find our second eigenvector, we look at A minus 
lambda 2 i times b2 equals 0. This is a plus i b2 equals 0. That's going to be negative 3 plus 1, 2, negative 4, and 3 plus 1 times v2 equaling 0. That's negative 2, 2, negative 4, 4 times v2 equaling 0. We set v2 to be c, d. Um, we can write this as negative 2, negative 4, 2, 4. C, D equals 0, 0. Turning this into an augmented matrix, we get negative 2, 2, negative 4, 4, and 0, 0. If we divide R1 by negative 2, we get 1, 2, 0, and uh, 2, 4, 0 on the bottom. If we take R2, subtract 2, R1, you get 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. And converting this back into what we had before, that's 1, 2, 0, 0 times CD equaling 0, 0. This is C plus 2D equals 0, which gives us C equals negative 2D and D equals D. And that means you can write B2, which is CD, as negative 2D and D. Factoring out D, we get D times negative 2, 1. And setting D equal to 1, we get B2 equals negative 2, 1. And that gives us a lamb, and we know that's associated with lambda 2 equals negative 1. So now to find our solution, um, we go ahead and um, write y1 equals e to the lambda 1 t b1, <clears throat> which is e to the t times negative 1, 1. And lambda 2, or sorry, y2, is going to equal e to the lambda 2t v2, which is e to the negative t times negative 2, 1. So that means our overall solution, y of t, is going to equal c1 y1 plus c2 y2. That's going to be c1 e to the t negative 1, 1 plus c2 e to the negative t negative 2, 1.